Many people call themselves Christians, but in their heart they still wonder and doubt whether God is real and whether Jesus Christ is alive. Many professing Christians were born into Christianity. Their parents took them to church. They taught them the Bible. And they believed on the basis of what their parents taught them. They believe on the basis of believing in the Bible. But in their heart, they still wonder. Sometimes they doubt. Unless we have had a real encounter with Jesus Christ, and we've come to know Him for real, we will always doubt. We will not know Him for real, and our faith will be shaky. It is only when you meet Jesus Christ and experience the power of the Holy Spirit that you truly believe. One of those wonderful experiences is the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Jesus promised the baptism in the Holy Spirit, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit in those who believe in Him and who repent and are baptized in water. When the Holy Spirit comes on you, you experience something like living water filling you from your inner man and then it bubbles out through your mouth. You speak in other tongues, tongues that you've never learned, that you've never heard, tongues that are given by the Holy Spirit by which you can praise God, speak to God at any time. It is supernatural. It cannot be taught. It cannot be learned. It comes from God. It is the Spirit of God that works a miracle in those who are baptized and filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Christ that comes and indwells mortals. Jesus said that if we have His words, and we obey them. Him and the Father will come and dwell in us, and He will reveal Himself to us. We will get to know Jesus Christ for real. We will experience Him as the living God. If you have received the baptism in the Holy Spirit with the gift of tongues, you can pray in tongues, you can speak to God any moment, at any time, because He lives in you. He gives you the words to utter, words that you do not understand, but the Spirit of God who dwells in you, guides you, prays with you and for you, and puts you into communion with God. That is the start of our close communion with God, with Jesus Christ. The Apostle Paul wrote in Romans 8 verse 14, Those who are being led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. If we do not have the Spirit of Christ, we do not belong to Him. If we have not experienced Jesus Christ, we will always doubt in our minds, is Jesus real? Is God real? But once we have received the Holy Spirit, we have had an encounter and we know that God is real. Jesus Christ is alive. We know it without a doubt because 
His Spirit lives in us. But we as humans quickly forget about our experiences, good and bad, pain and joy. We have to keep that relationship with Jesus alive. We have to seek Him more, even after we have received the Holy Spirit. And then He will reveal Himself to us more. We have to bear fruit for the kingdom of God. We have to be led by the Spirit of God. And if we do not work on our relationship with Jesus, then that experience, that reality, becomes faint. We can get sidetracked by the things of the world. We can go astray, like so many do. Many have received the baptism in the Holy Spirit, and then they were drawn away by the things of the world. And the reality of Jesus Christ became dim in their lives. We have to keep on seeking Jesus. We have to keep on seeking the guidance of His Holy Spirit. We have to seek the kingdom of God, seek the will of God. Get our focus on Jesus, stay focused on Him. Pray every day, walk with Jesus every day. And our relationship with Him will become more and more real. Our testimony will grow because He will show us things that we did not know. We will experience the miracles that God works in the lives of those who walk with Him, who follow Him every day. Their faith grows as they walk with the Master. If we do not keep on walking with the Master and following the guidance of the Holy Spirit, then our relationship with Him deteriorates and eventually dies, like has happened to so many who met Jesus Christ. It is not sufficient just to believe in Jesus based on what others say, based on what you read in the Bible. You need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You need to have your own relationship with the living God. He will reveal Himself to you. You will hear His voice. He will speak to you. You must trust Him, obey, respond, and do what He tells you to do. Because if you start doubting Him, if you ignore Him, if you allow yourself to be drawn away by the things of the world and by other people, by religion, by your own mind, by your own doubts, then you will stray from Jesus. Without Jesus, we can do nothing. If we stray from Him, and we do not return to Him, walk with Him and follow Him, then we will perish away from Him. Jesus Christ is alive. He is real. Seek Him with all your heart. Go after Him. Work on your relationship with Him. And He will reveal Himself to you as real, alive. And you will get to know Him better every day. Your faith will be based on your real relationship with Jesus Christ. Do you know Jesus Christ for real? Or do you believe based on what other people have told you? And what you've read? In the Bible. Get to know Jesus for real. May Jesus bless you.